Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you a framework you can build to test drive multi-modal models. Self-operating computer. A program that uses GPT-4 Vision to control your computer. Have a look at this demo. I give the system a prompt, open Google Chrome, then go to YouTube. In YouTube, search for this channel, Stuff About Stuff. First, the program will read my prompt. Next, it will take a screenshot of my screen. It will send that screenshot to GPT-4 Vision. After being analyzed, it will figure out where to click and what to type to achieve its objective. And have a look. Here the AI has full control of my computer. It selects Google Chrome. It opens it up. And then it types YouTube in the address bar and once it hits YouTube it will take another screenshot send that to GPT-4 again for analysis then figure out where the search bar is on the screen select that and then type in the channel name as requested and submit the search and there we go Next, let me show you how to build self-operating computer on your own Windows PC. I will also leave links in the video description to all the required software and all the software utilized in this build video. We will build self-operating computer from the other side AI GitHub repo. First, let's download all the required software. Head over to gitforwindows.org and download Git. Next, you can go to Python and download the latest version for Windows. I would recommend you download and install Anaconda so that we can run self-operating computer in its own virtual environment. Go ahead, download Anaconda. And then lastly, download a copy of Visual Studio Community Edition. First, let's install Git and you can run that except all the defaults. Now, let's install Python. And when the installer launches, make sure you select this checkbox to add Python to the path. I will now install Anaconda and here I'll accept all the defaults. Install Visual Studio Community Edition. And when the installer launches, make sure you select these two checkboxes. Desktop development with C++ and the Universal Windows Platform Development. And now with all the required packages installed, go ahead and reboot the Windows machine. And now that the computer is started, let's go ahead and build self-operating computer. Click on the search bar, type in Anaconda, find it in the pop-up, right-click and run it in admin mode. In the Anaconda prompt I've launched, I'm going to CD backslash so I get back into the root of my C drive. Now let's create a folder for self-operating computer. Uh, execute the following command. I'm creating a folder called SOC. Now let's change directory into the folder we just created for this project. I'm going to execute CD space SOC. We're now ready to clone the GitHub repo for this project. Head over to the GitHub page and go down to the quick start instructions and copy this git clone command. Open up your Anaconda prompt again. Paste this command. Make sure you're in your project folder that you created. Submit this command and clone the repo. When we clone this repo, you'll see that it clones itself into a new folder it creates called self operating computer. Make sure you change directory into this folder that's created so that we can execute the following commands. Before we create the Conda environment, execute the following command, Python space dash dash version and verify the version of Python Conda is using. And now that we have our Python version Conda is using, let's create a new environment. Execute the command Conda create space dash n in my case, I'm calling this environment SOC and then supply it with your Python version returned. Uh, execute this command and create the environment. Now that the Conda environment successfully created, let's activate that. I'm going to activate it by executing Conda space activate space environment name 
in my case SOC and you can verify that your environment successfully activated you'll see here in the left hand corner of this uh, anaconda prompt the environment name SOC and now that we verified we're in all the correct folders and the environment's activated let's install self operating computer execute the following command pip space install space self dash operating dash computer go ahead execute that when the build completes make sure that you don't have any errors or warnings and the build completed successfully and then we'll head over to OpenAI. Now before we fire up the software, we'll need to head over to platform.openai.com and we'll need to create an API key for this that has access to GPT-4. Go ahead, uh, create a new API key that you can use. Now that the API key is created, uh, go ahead and copy this key. Now open up your Windows Explorer and navigate to the project folder that you've created and we're looking for this file called example.env find this file uh, right click and edit this file and you want to enter your OpenAI API key in this file then save and exit this file and now that we've entered our API key we need to rename this file to just.env right click this file rename and just call it .env now open up your anaconda prompt again and we want to execute the following set command now this set command will set the open AI API key for the conda environment execute this set command now if everything went according to plan you should be in a position to execute the operate command go ahead enter operate and submit that and if your program launched correctly, you should be presented with this green screen. And you can press enter here, and it will then ask you to supply it with a prompt. I'm going to feed it with the prompt that I used in the demo. And again, let's hand full control over to the AI. I'm going to supply it with the following prompt, and let's see what happens. I'm asking it to open Google Chrome, go to YouTube and in the YouTube search bar look for stuff about stuff let's submit that and see what happens and there you have it AI having full control of my PC navigating the web navigating YouTube and uh, finding my channel if you enjoyed this video consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing and watch our channel for future AI videos